the review is out. We landed on an 8.5. How do you guys feel about that? Do you feel that's fair? Do you have any questions about it? Um, I don't I I don't know if it's it's hard to say if it's fair. I read what you wrote and I agree with a lot of what you wrote. I'm just not I don't really envy anyone who has to score a big game like this. Mm-hmm. I think personally, if I was gonna score it, I made I might have gone a little lower just because Personally, I kind of hold it against the game that it doesn't have some of the features that I would have come to expect that Destiny 1 had, like, you know, custom matches, that kind of thing. Uh, ammo synths, little things like that. Mm-hmm. When when the sequel doesn't have these games, or doesn't have these features or things in it, uh, I kind of, that irks me a little bit. But that's not everyone's perspective, and I do understand that you have to judge the game by itself and not in relation to its predecessors. So it's a tough spot to be in. Well, definitely, we looked at the predecessor when we were uh, discussing some of the systems and investment game things that they have in the product. Uh, what was bothersome to me was mostly that you could queue into a strike, and if it wasn't the one you want, you just bail. So you're either abandoning somebody or they're abandoning you. Same thing in PvP. You go into a competitive game type. It happened to me yesterday, mm-hmm. and I was able to capture a very specific example for the review. I hop into a PvP mode. Immediately, two people leave after the first loss, and I'm just like, great. Yep. Yeah. You know, it's convenient to queue up in one place, but when that convenience gets in the way of functionality, Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's a problem. I I, I love zipping around from planet to planet. That's all great. But it starts impacting gameplay a little bit when you're just abandoned. I think your score is on point. I would have even skewed a little bit higher, I think. Uh, I was, But maybe that's just because I was not expecting much. I played the first game just through launch of Vanilla, um, and my experience was abysmal. Uh, It totally felt like a proof of concept to me. Uh, and I understand that it was iterated upon after that with these patches and expansion drops and things like that. But coming into Destiny 2, after having not played since launch, I was blown away by being sidetracked by public events, being sidetracked by lost sectors. The progression felt fantastic until uh, 265, Yep. at which point you hit a wall that is poorly designed around and you have to do all these things to kind of circumvent the system that was put in place to keep you at that light level. Hey, it's so simple. All you right. have to do is get a higher light level thing with a legendary mod on it, but you have to remember that the legendary mod is... Doesn't uh, affect your base power does, level. Yeah, yeah I know. And then you roll level. a second and third character yeah. if you really want to be optimal, and that, of course, is just <clears> not great because people, everybody... Uh, the mod system's weird. Yeah, who considers yeah. themselves a hardcore player is going to take that most optimal route to progression, to, to 305. Mm-hmm. Uh, but... If that involves rolling a second character and doing the exact same content on the same class, I think that's a bad experience and a bad decision, and that is my only major gripe with Destiny 2. I thought the, the rest of it, including the raid, which we'll talk about, was superb. I, I really liked it. Yeah, so Sean, you had a pretty stable experience <clears throat> on my PlayStation 4 Pro. Regular crashes. I mean, you can watch the stream archive. That's crazy to me, crash yeah. On stream. And then a uh, lot of uh, bungee issues. Like when we completed the raid, actually, Duggan, our whole team was wiped. I saw... At least two other instances, this happened to A-Rex, mm. this happened to Fran, where the whole team is wiped and you cannot collect a treasure at the bottom of the bottom. Bummer. Of, wow, of course, it does get crazy. mailed to you. We did still get the rewards does, for it. does, but you don't get the trophy. You yeah. get no other indication that you actually completed it. Your clan progression does it in advance. Yeah. And uh, you do get mailed the rewards. It's, it's definitely a bug that I think needs to be sorted out because it, it left a very bad taste in our mouth for what was otherwise, I think, a, a very good experience at awesome. least, but we're going to talk about And yeah, we never, yeah, yeah I never had any experiences like that on Xbox. Uh, there were for a couple hours on one day, I think a few days ago, that I got the sheep error a couple times trying to party up with people in the fire team. But I went to Bungie's Twitter and there was a, hey, we know people are experiencing the sheep thing on Xbox right now. We're working on it. Within like two hours, it was fixed. So I just soloed for a little bit knows all right they've been no, very responsive yeah no yeah. crashes to desktop nothing like that everything that seems to be problematic in terms of the game uh or, or like server side issues with bungee's yeah. networking and stuff and not yeah. like a like a bug that crashes the actual app and stuff. i never had a hard crash and i was on ps4 uh regular regular yeah, yeah. so it yeah. seemed you were saying off air before we rolled that it seems to be a ps4 pro yeah sony's actually responded it's a it seems to be a sony issue they're working with bungie to try and figure out what it is but it's a ps4 pro specific issue mm. and that's a bummer because anybody that brought a bought a pro <laughs> yeah and wants to play in 4k yeah uh has more difficulty doing that is going to encounter more frequent crashes all in all i think your score is very fair uh like it's funny because you know this is what reviewing is at ign you said you would have gone a little higher i personally would have gone a little lower Mm -hmm. we all have these discussions Mm -hmm. that's why i do not envy the spot that triple a game reviewers are in making hard decisions like a single person like at some point you just have to be subjective Mm -hmm. because trying to be objective is only going to uh, muddle up the process
Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more Destiny coverage. I'll even have Zerg give you exactly what you wanted if you do. Apparently, I can't do that. You should still subscribe.